thing is to run. Run and get in one of them offices, yeah. Yep, getting in here and flipping it back around. And they had that administrator that Kristen had. That's a really key point of all of it. And you should know everything about it, mm -hmm. this corporation. I would know fully everything about it, but I would also know how to safeguard this for you through transparency. So my time off, I've been learning about these uh, NFTs. And people today are like, what is that? What's an NFT? What's a non-fungible transaction? What does this stuff mean? Mm -hmm. Well, by researching YouTube and listening to these young people doing this digital transactions, driving cars with their digital monies, well, that makes sense to me that it's just the individual that removes the bank out of it. And it's just a promise to pay from one to another, mm -hmm. one person to another, no middleman. And that's what the banks don't want to see. And so with these NFTs, you can build like say a Buffalo project. So let's say if I have land, which I do of 10 acres, and if I put up some posts to keep Buffalo in, well, let's say if I got people who are interested in me raising these buffalo, and you can come out and partake of it if you buy this NFT, this little token that's worth $5,000. Mm -hmm. You can buy it. It's good for three years. You can visit three times, once a year, and come help harvest. You don't get to keep anything, but you get to come hunt. Mm -hmm. The more these stages go up, the more money you get. Mm -hmm. And as for the people to see transparency, yeah, somebody knocked. No, that DJ's knocking on the bathroom. Yeah! yeah. Mm. I apologize. <laughs> and yeah. so, these keep transactions just like that Kickapoo Turnpike. Every wheel that goes over should be money in your pocket. It should be. That's yeah. right, because that's our corporation that was formed right here. You can see it right here. They're using our name. This yeah. they are. That's why I drive on all of them. But we have the rights to Aboriginal trails no matter what. Mm -hmm. We don't pay anywhere we go. We're in our homeland. That's the truth. That's why I, I reference myself. I'm not a homeless veteran. I'm in my homeland. That's the only thing that keeps me <laughs> going. Yeah, yeah cuz you know, if I was in Africa, then I would definitely be a homeless veteran there. That's not mm -hmm. my homeland and I don't have a home, shelter and all that. But here I'm in my elements. I'm mm -hmm. out with creation. I'm with my relatives out here. I'm not We're struggling, but yeah. we're doing it. Yeah. We we're here. Mhm. Mm but I also look at those who are living out in Babylon, America, USA, Inc., and how they live. Look at their bodies. They may be prospering for a little while, but they're getting bigger and bigger and shinier. <laughs> but that's diabetes is taking our people. Yes, because the luxury of all those dainties, like Herman talks about that alligator or the anteater story mm -hmm. when it puts its tongue out. And then ants either get stuck in Jump it, on it yeah. or you go through. Or he talks about this alligator that has a whole bunch of lights, bright lights. You know, I can't remember that full story, but it's all about distraction, mm -hmm. you know, keeping you from going through. Mm -hmm. we, ha we have to endure. That's a truth. Pops its ugly head up, and then we forget about what we're doing, you know. And yep. Yeah. And that's what this whole system is, that mm -hmm. TikTok, all that stuff, is just distraction. So what I've been doing, I've been getting up on these platforms, sharing <clears throat> Facebook. I got a Facebook business page where I can mm -hmm. sell, uh, share with the indigenous law, mm -hmm. especially with this OICWA, because that's what I've been battling for 28, well, 29 years, because my son's about that old now. Mm -hmm. But these justices in here don't know anything about us. Mm -hmm. So in yeah. order to fix things, we're going to have to get the Kickapoo Council form together and do something because it's all right here i mean yeah. there and here these two alone right here and i'll make pdfs of these so people can uh, purchase them yeah. cheaply um they just go onto the site once i find it i've learned how to do these pdfs like taking pictures mm -hmm. but i've yet to find a place where to distribute them to everyone but i do know you can't give these for free Right, uh huh. Because they'll just throw them away or sit down and mm -hmm. they're just whatever. Glance at them, yeah, and mm -hmm. they, they don't. So, they really don't understand it. No, you know? they don't. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I do with the podcast. I mm -hmm. I read the Treaty of Greenville. So if you're driving, 
I read the Treaty of Greenville to you. Oh, you're I have two it. parts. Yeah. So if you're listening and I'm commentating on this, I'm going to tell you this is a faith belief. It's not a blood quantum thing because we mm-hmm. have to worry about blood quantum because it's just us here. <laughs> what is that? That that had nothing to do with us here. Mm-hmm. That was for them over there, you know, with the brave heart when they took his babe and mated with them first before the husband. Mm-hmm. That's what their system is, like they do here. Mm-hmm. But even our Indian women are choosing white people mm-hmm. for the luxury of it, and there's no Indian companionship for the men. Where the women don't know the laws. And it's very lonesome for the man who follows that path when there's no woman that knows these laws to match. So people ask me on my ticket, how come you're single? Well, because there's a law not to marry outside my people. That's the way it's supposed to be, yeah. Creator separate us for that very reason. And yet we're here in America, the Babylon, speaking this language of all races, sending things up to space. Mm-hmm. Doing it again. Babylon all over, but now they're using us, his people. There's something within us, genetically, that ties us spiritually to that power mm-hmm. in that Indian house. Especially for for my lineage, because I find out more and more, because Grandma Lily talks about us to the Creeks, and she says that we were known unto them. We're a very ancient spiritual people, because spoke at the Shawnees, Ispogolji. That's what they call us. We're ancient people and we're still here. There's something spiritual in here that's yet to be released. I don't know when the creator is going to break that code to set that loose. But the power that we have is like Herman says around them arbors. We sit in those spots. We're just as powerful as those spirits. Mm-hmm. And that's a truth. And we're slowly dwindling away. Mm-hmm. So, if that's the, the truth, and it's also written in that good book, too, that there's going to be fewer and fewer of his people. Mm-hmm. But it's not why he chose them for the numbers, because they were few. And his their hearts are for him. Mm-hmm. And that's the truth. Even their Christian book talks about the Christian soldier that once was here. Mm-hmm. Used to fight for the good of things. And they didn't ask you if you was Baptist or Pentecostal. They said, are you saved? That's all they said. Are you saved, brother? Mm -hmm. I am. It's a free gift. When you're in Babylon, you better take it. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Because if you get lost out there, you better have that free gift. That creator can look down. There's my baby right there. He got the free gift Mm -hmm. out there. But when you're in Indian country, he knows who you are because he named us. And we walk amongst him. It's a difficult thing to do to walk in both worlds. It surely is. But the time is now. And that's what I've been doing in my time on the land is making these podcasts. I'll be reading these out to people so they can pick it up. So when I pick up the check or something, I'm going to try to get people um, information where they can find it so they can listen to it Mm -hmm. and just drive or work, listen to these things, listen to them over and over and over and over, and they'll leave a comment. I don't Mm -hmm. know what this words mean. Could you leave this on a TikTok? Sure. Okay, leave a comment. I'll go to TikTok and address it. Bam, bam. More people will know. That's the only way I know how to do that is to get on the platforms where they're at. Yeah, that's a good idea. Cause they're all on it. They're all on Facebook. That's all mm-hmm. people read anymore, you know what? Yeah, and mm-hmm. that's where you're going to set yourself up for failure on that stuff. That's why I'd rather do um, content. I just overflow water yeah, can, that way yeah. nothing comes back in you know because i had somebody up there talk smack to me <clears throat> and um shame on you for bringing this attention about your government over because i dressed the over here at the kickapoos wouldn't let me in to dental because mm-hmm. i said i didn't get in the jab i brought my treaties and all this stuff. i'm a culture i'm sitting over here and i showed them everything mm-hmm. still wouldn't let me in so i'll call them out for the fraud now black man was a health guy i said who are you to run this how do you go against crimes against us then they brought the kickapoo cop one big fat guy Badge Greg dude. Cortino. Probably. I said, who's this guy? Security. He's not federal anything. It's a goon squad. He mm-hmm. ain't upholding my treaty one bit or letting me in my own facility. Mm-hmm. Called him out for that. Mm-hmm. This lady got up on there. Are oh, you going to be doing that and that? And then she brought up uh, that accident with my, my friend in my neighborhood, Chris Soap. They don't know that his dad was driving first. Yeah. 
but slowly it's getting out. Mm-hmm. And just like Grandma Corn says, you know, when I grew up, she says, it's not true, don't worry about it. If you can remove yourself from that, go ahead. Don't be a part of any kind of negative or bad things. Just like my corporation, I took myself off that corporate role because I'm the shareholder. Mm-hmm. They wouldn't listen to us, general counsel, just like here. So by hearing that and doing these laws from elders and applying it, it's prevailing now mm-hmm. that where people are starting to see, like, man, uh, he's still doing what he's been doing all along, still mm-hmm. drinking, drugging, and whatever. But he picked a degree that'll let him do that. Alcohol and drug counselor, you can relapse and not get fired. Mm-hmm. What a safest alcoholic job you can get. <laughs> For real. They can relapse and still keep their job. Yeah, you can come in drunk can. and still keep your job. You can talk all... Well, what I hear is that, you know, people don't get their problems solved. They're trying to solve his. Mm-hmm. But it all deals with the community. And that's what all these things are doing, these so-called services. They ain't helping you. They're spies. They're spying on you. They got to fill out a report. I went to Grandma Helen's house, and this is what the condition of the house is. It's unsafe. It's this and that. Blah blah. There's mm-hmm. dogs everywhere. Blah blah blah. They don't know an ending home from nothing. Mm-mm. They think you're supposed to be Barbie and Brady Bunch, and that's what the script they've been given to come do this research and investigation. And that's how they formed it against us. Mm-hmm. They're just saying the assimilations is not working on this particular group. Now, this next generation down here, like Neva's son, he's the same program as me, but he don't sit over there in that house. They don't, yeah, I don't ever see him over here. He's long past, and they will, you know, but... they'll pick him up, watch, and throw him over there just because of that degree and place him in there, but he won't know how to use any of this stuff. Mm-hmm. And so that's a RICO takeover of your funds, of federal funds which is supposed to be coming to us mm-hmm. by a charter and the Constitution. So once I get these things down and read to the people, I've got to let them know I've got to run for these positions and anyone who would join me, mm-hmm. who would want to learn. Yeah, just... you, you don't need a degree. I just need to teach you the truth. And you can run along with me. I would rather all people know this. Mm-hmm. I want every household to have this stuff in their in their car because this is your protections. I'll roll with this stuff. I ride with the code of laws of the Shawnees, mm-hmm. my treaties, these. Oh, it's the only way. Plus, I got a case in the federal court that they won't give me a date for. Mm. They still ain't giving me a date just because they want to say I'm pro se. Their words are trying to say I represent myself. So, no. That's not true. I'm a sovereign reporting the crimes in mm-hmm. any country. So see, right, right there, either he knows or don't know, and he graduated from the University of Oklahoma. So I talked to my mentor, Joe Harris, the president of the University of Oklahoma. I just <laughs> ran into him. And uh-huh. I said, hey, you ever think about coming to any country and let me know? Because that's the same thing he kind of said to me. You ever think about going to law school? Let me know. Come find me. Mm-hmm. And when I got in, I asked him to be a mentor for our people, for Indian country, brought tobacco and everything. But I've been having trouble meeting with him. So Crater made it to where I just met up with him. And I explained to him what I've been doing since graduating. So I've been finding a fraud. Mm-hmm. I have tribal preference. They hired Gary Pitchland from OU, University of Oklahoma, that taught gaming over me with tribal preference, federal tribal preference of my own corporation. So that's RICO. That's fraud. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Can't get past that. Even here, even here, when Cheryl was in there, <clears throat> threw my stuff to the side. Didn't give me a letter saying why I wasn't accepted. Just, just because Hayden. That's all it <laughs> yeah. is. And we have a lot of that in in the bucket, the crab in the bucket thing. And so we got to get past that too. Mm-hmm. But the Kickapoo Council, I'm going to read these out on the podcast so people can listen. I'm going to read the treaties, and then I'll fill in the blanks. And hopefully I get people from TikTok and Facebook and generate traffic here. Because mm-hmm. really it's all about the children. Mm-hmm. Oh, Iqua will save us. Because they're not applying it over here. Mm-hmm. And when Right now we're kind of split. 
we got the traditional one and we got them up there, you know. It's well, it's just like Thunder Heart. Mm-hmm. For real. You watch the movie, it's the yeah. same thing here. Now, there's a new one out that I've seen.